I swear I've done a few versions of this video today, but um, it seems to be the one that'll win out, mainly because of the lighting. But if you know me, you'll know why I picked this one. I'm in my, uh, my hotel room in AGDQ, and it's been a good second day, and uh, it's been interesting. I wanted to do one of these videos because it has... Um, it's been an interesting week. It's been an interesting week considering what's been going on. Uh, if you know, if you know what I've been going through, I've been I'm in my fourteenth week of uh, of therapy, and um, one of the things I want to quickly talk about. I I tried this twice before, but it turned out to be like a ten minute video, and you know, ten minutes. The Vlog Brothers would be frowning at me for that, but. Um, it's the fact that I, you know, it's, it's a self-worth thing. It's uh, it's a thing that I've been struggling with with Twitch because, like, you know, for all for all intents and purposes, I've been doing really well, um, you know, with the work front, the home front. But other than that, Twitch has been a little bit weird because I feel like I haven't been pulling my weight. And without pulling my weight, I feel like, you know, that I haven't, I just haven't been doing what I think I should be doing, and I brought that up, that up to my therapist a couple of weeks, uh, or not a couple of weeks ago, just this past week, and um, he had some really good words for it. He said something along the lines of that, uh, he used the word delusion, which really took me off guard. And, I mean, I, I have so much respect for the people, like the the person on my shirt, you know, Jeff, and uh, the people on my, the team that I broadcast on, I have a, so much respect for what they do, that they, you know, they do the seven, you know, seven days a week, and, you know, I'm, I'm at SGDQ, I'm at a place where so many people are able to, you know, show off how amazing they are at video games, and how amazing they are as streamers. Um, not only helping them, but, you know, helping Twitch as well. But, you know, I, I, I've been, what I've been practicing, and I think it's a little different from the video I was going to make, uh, because I actually did practice today, um, that I can provide a, a different sort of um, experience for people. I'm 32 years old. I work at Twitch. I have a wife that whom I love dearly and have been with for four years and known for 12. And what was said to me is something I still have to get used to, and I'm sure I'll do a few videos about this, but it was something along the lines of I have to embrace what I am. I can't compare myself to the people that I've named, you know, I am a completely, I am not that. And it's been really tough to absorb that because I wanted to be that guy to be able to work at Twitch and to also be a streamer and to also be a successful streamer. And not that I can't be successful, because that's not the point. Not, it's not the, I think the point of this is that I'm not giving anything up. I think the point of it is the fact that I need to grow up. And that's, <laughs> that's honestly the hardest part of it. You know, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid, stuff, stuff like that, you know. But there's a great... There's a great anecdote about Michael Jordan that my therapist brought up and it was along the lines of saying that you know he, he played for the Chicago Bulls for a while and he came he retired and he came back but then he came back for the Washington Wizards and it wasn't great and because he didn't have he didn't know what his new role was he didn't accept his new role as a person that you know isn't in his prime he can't be, when he was part of the Wizards, he couldn't be the Michael Jordan of the Bulls. Yeah, and, and for me, I can't be the 20-year-old anymore. I can't expect the same treatment that a lot of other people get 
you know, it, it, I'm, I'm just of a different age group. I'm just of a different experience. You know, I have to, I have to own and be proud of the experiences that I give people. Whether it's as a teacher, like I have been for the past decade, or just as a as a senpai, as people call me, or as a sensei. You know, the I have to accept that as that that's my fate. That's what I have. That's what I have done. And you know, I can't stream seven days a week. Or maybe I could, but I do it in my own way. I do it with the balance, knowing that that experience would be balanced with what I am as a person right now. Not what I could be at 20 years old, or not what any of my broadcasting partners here could be, or anybody I know could be. I have a little bit more experience there, and I should notice that, and I should embrace it. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how that goes. And I, I'm sure I'll be talking a little bit about this a couple of times because for a couple of videos because it's that big of a thing to me. When my ther when my my therapist told me about this, it really rocked my world because I came to I had to come to a, a conclusion that I what I wanted to be, I just can't. And that's not a bad thing. I can't sound like that it's a bad thing. And I still think I currently sound like that. That it's like, I can't do this because of something. I can't do this because of one thing or another. That can't be what this is. So with that, SGDQ day two is over and I'm gonna go to bed because it's been a long night. And I'm gonna keep trying to meet people and trying to and try to create experiences that are distinctly mine. Not only as a Twitch staff, but as the Brian that you've come to know. Because I have to accept the Brian that has come to be. And I have to accept what I will be in the future. And I have, and only I have control of that. But it'll take a while. I'm gonna get some sleep. Thank you for thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Thanks a lot, everybody.